Jaring. <laughs> Miss Anna. Hello po, Miss Anna Cerezo from TV Patrol. Hi. Hi, Hi Miss Anna. Hi, good afternoon. Um, yeah. Going back lang to what you said kanina, no? Yeah. For you, what does it really mean? What is so rewarding about being a kapamilya that after everything that happened, you still chose to be a kapamilya? I would love to go back to that moment wherein everything was, you know, I don't want to say a rubble, pero it was uh, parang ground zero for ABS. Eh. And then there were offers um, from, from other stations too, from other management. But I, I prayed about it and for it. And I said na my values are aligned with this company and this company only. So unless, you know, yung, yung ship is really not there anymore, it's not floating, dun na ako mag-jump ship. Pero while it's still there fighting, I would fight for them and with them. What is most rewarding sa iyo na pag sinabi mong kapamilya ko? What, what is so rewarding about being, what's the most rewarding part of being a kapamilya? It's their excellence eh. Competence in everything, in every aspect. You name it, when you say it's a kapamilya brand, for sure, it will be quality. And it will be world-class, proudly Pinoy. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Anna. Ayan. Next question, magagaling naman siyempre kay Paula. Ayan. Hi, Paula. Hi, Paula. Hello, po. <laughs> Hello. Si Paula. Hindi na nagpunta. Gusto may retso. Paula. Ay, nanap. Hello po. Congratulations po on your Hi, contract Paula. signing. Thank you. So, you've interviewed so many famous artists. In, in this industry po. So, meron po bang tumatak na parang uh, statement po from um, from one interview? And ano po yun? Ha. Uh, um, Iba-iba eh. Pero, I think the best comment that I got was just recently and it's from one of, I, I think I can say it naman. I think it's from one of my ninangs who told me, Salamat sa pagtindig. That's it. So, I have another question. Um, meron ka bang like dream na personality na gusto mong ma-interview in the future? Yeah, oh, a lot. Uh... Like, I would love to go to Singapore and interview Taylor Swift. I would love to interview BTS. I would love to interview different personalities, you know, up and coming. And, and that's, I think that's one of the best things about my job right now. It's um, not being in the spotlight, really, but to share the spotlight with someone. I think that's the best thing. Because palagi made the one, eh. My dream is not to become the one, but my dream is to become the one who interviews the one all the time. Thank you. Thank you, Paula. Thank You're you. the one. <laughs> Thank you, Paula. Last question natin will come from Ruel. Ayan. Hi, Ruel. Pero habang ni Ruel, Ruel, are you bored? Hindi naman. Oh, kasi nakalagay sa shirt eh. Hindi, nag-video siya. Ah, okay. Sorry. Akala ko dahil nagkikita. Hi. So, ayun, I love hi, the hair. Robbie. Ayun, thank you. So, um, when you look back from your PBB journey, then transitioning to being a host, um, was it hard? And kung paano mo na-handle yung mga difficulties when you um coming out from PBB and then becoming a host? And now, you're like one of the established na talaga na host in the country. <sighs> I don't know if you know this, but pag sinasabi yun, na, na overwhelm talaga ako kasi hindi pa yata matanggap ng sistema ko. True. But uh, I would love to say thank you first. And it was not an easy transition, siguro, during those times. Kasi back in grade school, high school, I was that kid na torpe. Hanggang ngayon, torpe pa naman ako. May ako, sobra. But <laughs> pag... pag may mga big events, hindi ako nakakatungtong on stage. 
siguro because of that too, nakulub ako na hindi ako nakakalabas ng bahay when I was a kid. Puro simbahan, library, school lang ako. Hindi ako nakakapunta ng iba't ibang mga malls. Hindi ako nakaka-interact. Mga kasama ko pa, mga lalaki palagi. Di ba? So, ah, ganito pala yung storya nila. Ah, gan- may gantong lugar pala. So, I-, I think I have that inquisitive mind and yung pagkasabik na ganito pala yung mundo outside the walls of Loyola because uh, outside Ateneo. Ah, ganito. At as much as I thank my Jesuit education, mas natutunan kong mag, magpakatao when you empathize with the stories. And when you get to do that, and when you get to that point na, ah, ganito pala ang buhay. You get to understand the, the different perspectives ng buhay, and you get to share those stories to everyone. So, it's not an easy task. Until now, it's, it's a big uh, learning curve, pero... I have to say I love what I do. And I have to say that I love what I do with this company. Thank you, Robby, hmm. and congratulations. Correct. Maraming salamat, Ruel. May pahapo lang daw, Thank mabilis, you. si Miss Manila. Yes, Miss Manila, ayan po ang microphone. Robby, can you share um, from recent years, or I don't know, even from the start, um, what your biggest boo was as a host? Oh, a lot. <laughs> A lot. Major, major. major I, I can name two. Okay. Two major ones. First one was, it was a time, 2013, I remember the date because it was the first season ng The Voice of the Philippines. Season one, semifinals, um, Miss Tony Gonzaga had prior commitments, so, sabi sa amin ng prod, biglaan, we're not gonna get another host. Ang mangyayari, you and the Alex would level up kayo maging main host. First time, I heard my name, Peter Musni, the golden voice of ABS-CBN, in Resorts World Manila, saying, mga kapamilya, please welcome your hosts, Alex Gonzaga and Robbie Domingo. During that moment, set up the music, akit kami na stage, kita namin, sea of different colors, ingay ng Resorts World. Sabi ko ay Alex, Alex, ito na to. May main host sa tayo. Ito na, ito, ito na yung ano natin. Level up, bro. Level up. Got my mic. I saw Direct Lauren. It's like, proud na proud. First words were, Magandang kapamilya! <laughs> and then, Alex is like, Pards, nakalimutan mo yung gabi. I was like, Magandang kapamilya gabi! <laughs> so, wala. Talaga, that was my major boo-boo. After that, Back, hindi pa tayo, hindi pa natin time. Backstage mo na tayo. Wala, balik mo na tayo. Second one, oh, it's Miss Earth. It's like, re- rehearsed it. Biglang nagbago yung prompter. Iniba yung sequence. So what happened was I was with uh, a female host. I forgot the, I forgot the name, sorry. Um, and then, sinabi ko doon yung, please welcome our board of judges. We got an actor a pillar of a of Philippine uh, uh, showbiz. Please welcome Mr. Christopher De Leon. <laughs> and the look, the look of Sir Christopher is like, oh my God. Ganun lang siya eh. Yung parang gusto na akong, gusto ko nang magpalamon sa lupa. Na, at na-realize ko yun. Like, wala na. Wala na akong babalik. Wala na akong trabaho. <laughs> So, yun, yun yung mga moments na ano bang nangyari? Ano bang nangyari? Pero salamat at nangyari. Thank you so much. Thank Robbie. you. Thank you, Sir Christopher. <laughs> <laughs> yes, maraming salamat po, Miss Manila. Thank you so much, Robbie. Naku, ang saya, nakakabitin ang kwentuhan natin. Pero it's time para pasalamatan mo naman lahat ng mga taong gusto mong i-thank you, sumusupport sa'yo, syempre. Oh, um... Uh, First of all, I would love to thank everyone right here in the in the studio, sa ating media con. Thank you so much for the wonderful questions. Thank you for listening, for the discussions that were that, that we had. Also, thank you sa ating um, yung mga boys natin dito. Yung mga kasama ko. Whatever happens, eh, like during taping, during lives, lekay ko. Thank you. 
for making me comfortable all the time. Kahit sa panahon ngayon, walang audience. You make me feel that I'm doing my job well. So thank you sa crew natin. Um, I love you. <laughs> love you. Uh, to, to my Star Magic family, maraming maraming salamat. There was a time that tinanggan na nila yung, yung table ko dun sa office kasi nagsawa na sila sa akin. I'm always there during uh, before the pandemic. And to my uh, road manager, to my handler, thank you, my manager. Thank you for being my soundboard, especially these times. Kailangan na kailangan ko kayo. Ha! <laughs> and to my bosses, maybe a CBN. Um, I am uh, with you in this fight. To my family and to my fiance, I'm, I'm here for you. And again, congratulations sa yung network contract signing. Sabi nga natin, keep shining, Kapamilya. Once again, Mr. Robbie Domingo.